Believe my prophets in this hour and you will be blessed. Those who are listening and you are reporting false or talking ill of my prophets. I have warned you in my word, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. A high price you will pay for what you are doing. Turn back now and repent or you will receive judgment in this hour. In a year of judgment and my vengeance will be against you. My grace is sufficient for you to take and receive my mercy before it's too late and the door closes on your time of repentance. The door you have opened, you will want to shut as fast as possible. You who are listening, you know who you are and you can feel this is for you. My grace is enough, so take it while you can before what is coming for you and all of your house you do not want your worst nightmare your worst nightmare <laughs> worst nightmare <laughs> So this latest video clip of Julie Green, again, only points to her continued pattern of thinking that she can use God as a weapon and just have not only the enemies of Donald Trump, uh, you know, calling down death upon them, not only all of the media calling down death upon them, but even anyone who would dare to oppose her. Uh, this is just a great example of her thinking that uh, she can intimidate uh, through fear or thinking that she can use God as a weapon again to silence uh, her critics or those who oppose her. And, you know, is this pointed directly at me? I don't know. I'm not saying it is. I haven't seen anybody else call her out. So, uh, but either way, I wanted to show anybody that's listening, that this type of behavior is textbook for a narcissistic cult leader. Again, using fear, I mean, th this is the type of strategy that uh, cult leaders like Jim Jones used, or David Koresh, many others. Muhammad, it's thinking that you can silence your critics and, uh, you know, and, and again, I, I have to laugh because this woman has zero authority in Christ. Zero. Uh, her entire ministry, if you watch all of her videos dating back, gosh, almost two years, it's about, hold on, everyone, uh, you know, as, as she spews her fake prophecies. Hold on, all my followers, uh, I'm going to... You know, as though God was talking, I'm going to get Trump back in and, and I'm going to kill all of his enemies, including many government officials. And uh, sadly, people want to hear that. Their hope is not in Jesus Christ. Their hope is in Donald Trump. And this is her whole ministry. And uh, when she gets called out on it, this is what she does. So uh, I certainly wanted to address this uh, to, to show this cult leader that, no, <laughs> you know, when you get out there and, and you think that you can put these types of threats out there for uh, studied Christians who can see right through this, it's, it, there's not even a contest here, it's not even close. When you think you can do this and come out and threaten not only her critics, but their families, as you listen, if you go back and listen to this again, listen to what she says, listen very careful. Take note of the arrogance in her facial expressions. And of course, she basically said that whoever this critic is, that uh, God is going to come for you and your family. 
Now, I'll reiterate, am I scared? Absolutely not. I serve Jesus Christ. I love Jesus. I find Jesus through his written word, not through silly, slappy, false prophets on social media who have been proven wrong. So I'm not worried. But if somebody else is out there who maybe criticized uh, Julie Green and they hear this, um, sadly, in many cases, it works. And they do become fearful. And so this is cruelty when somebody thinks they can use God as a weapon. I've had death call down on me at least 40 to 50 times in the last 10 years. And uh, it's ridiculous. I'm still here because I serve Jesus Christ. What she's doing is really a type of witchcraft. This is the same type of strategy and patterns that people like Jezebel used and many other rulers. They, they rule with fear. This is not godly. When you read, for example, James and John, when they ask Jesus, uh, do you want that we should call down fire upon them, meaning those who were perceived to stand against Jesus, um, Jesus rebuked them and said, you know not what spirit you are of. Uh, I've come to save men's lives, not destroy them. And I'm paraphrasing. So for a cult leader like this to think that they can do this is just ridiculous. And if you are one of those, um, just understand this. I mean, if you are one of those who have, have heard these types of things and you're fearful, don't fear. Stand in the truth of Jesus Christ. You're going to get a lot of hate from followers because they are of a 2 Timothy 4.3 generation. They enjoy getting their itching ears tickled with these types of fake ministries, uh, but they are not of God. So we stand against them in the name of Jesus Christ. We certainly pray for Julie Green because she is a person in need of serious help. And uh, who better than to help somebody like this than Jesus Christ? So we'll continue to pray for her. But in the meantime, while she continues the ministry of nationalism, putting Trump at the forefront of everything, um, it takes the glory away from Jesus Christ. People are putting their hope in a politician and not the Lord. So we will continue to stand against this type of stuff. And we stand only in the strength of Jesus Christ. And we give him all the glory and pray for the followers. And we'll just continue to expose this in Jesus' name. Mission accomplished.